So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, some tools uh, which I think uh, are necessary uh, for cybersecurity. And we are going to start with our very old friend, uh, which is Raspberry Pi. And this is a Raspberry Pi 5. And we have installed uh, this Neo case, which support uh, SSD. So we have also installed SSD with Raspberry Pi 5. And this SSD contains uh, Kali Linux. So this is basically a Kali Linux version of Raspberry Pi 5. And uh, of course, we can use this device to do multiple things like uh, vulnerability scanning and all these type of things. So this is our very old friend, which is Raspberry Pi. And this is Raspberry Pi 5. And then we have a uh, Ponogachi device. And we have already made a video on it, how to create your Ponogachi device using Raspberry Pi Zero. And this device uh, is uh, used to capture handshakes, Wi-Fi handshakes. Uh, so this device just captured the handshakes and uh, all the other procedure uh, which we have to do with handshakes, we can do it uh, with other devices and uh, with our laptop. So if you want to just capture the handshakes, this is the best device. So this is our second device. And then we have our a uh, very good friend uh, which is HackRF1 port pack. So uh, this device uh, is used to capture frequencies uh, from, this is a, a very good device to capture frequency from uh, one megahertz to six gigahertz, uh, which covers a very wide range. And then we can do replay attacks and all these type of things. So this is a very necessary device if you want to do something in wireless. So this is our port pack. And this is its antenna. And then we have our Flipper Zero device. Uh, uh, it's kind of similar to uh, HackRF1 uh, port pack, uh, but over here you can see we have some GPIO pins uh, with Flipper Zero. So let me focus. So what we can do is we can connect different types of boards and uh, expansion boards with Flipper Zero uh, to, to, to do different types of uh, things. So I'm going to cover these type of expansion boards in our coming videos. So this is something similar with port pack. And then we have very important device, which I think is totally necessary, which is our phone. And this phone is rooted over here. You can see, and we have installed Kali Linux NetHunter, which is uh, the variant for mobile phones, uh, basically for Android phones. So this is this phone is rooted and we have also installed custom kernel into it. So we can do all type of uh, different uh, things which we can do with uh, our Raspberry Pi. Uh, we can do it with our phone as well. So over here you can see uh, some HID attacks, USB attacks, Mac changer, and then we have Bluetooth Arsenal, uh, MITM frameworks, NMAP, and all these things. So this is our Kali Linux NetHunter variant, and this is the adapter. So in our uh, previous videos, uh, I have already shown you different types of uh, adapters, wireless adapters, which you can use. So we can use these adapters as well with our phone, uh, but uh, this, this adapter is very handy. So I usually use this adapter. So let me show you how we can connect this adapter. So let me just connect this adapter and let me show you how this adapter works. So it's connected and then let's just ex execute monitor mode. And over here, this adapter is connected over here, you can see. So let me just go back and let me just launch Wi-Fi light. And over here, you can see this Wi-Fi light is working. So this is how we can use uh, this a phone as well, our phone as well. So uh, we just rooted this phone and installed Kali Linux NetHunter uh, with custom kernel. So if you want to learn how we can, how you can root your phone, let us know in the comment section. So we'll show you how you can root your phone and then you can use these uh, adapters as well. So these are all the devices uh, which you can use uh, for cybersecurity. Thank you.